You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check this out. I don't know if you remember the dinosaur kit where I made the dinosaurs with the wind-up mechanisms. Well, the same company, Galt, has this robo-modeling kit. You can make four wind-up robots and Max the Super Dog or create your own characters. I think I'm going to create my own characters because it includes the four wind-up mechanisms, 12 packs of air-drying modeling clay, and then the guide that comes with it. And let's see. Let's read a little bit here. There's not much I can... Well, let's see here. It says, four wind up, okay, that's what we had. Plus a Max the Super Dog model with soft, lightweight, air drying clay. Simply model the soft clay body around the wind up mechanism, then add the head, arms, and features. Wind up the net mechanisms, oh, wind up the mechanized bodies and watch your robots go. And then look at all the different clay you get in there. Let me zoom in on that because we're going to double check everything we get in the box when I take it out. So I'm going to do that next. So look at that, the four wind-up mechanisms, which look to be purple, and then 12 bags of modeling clay. Lots to play with. So let me do that next, get out of the box, and then we'll get started. All right, here is everything that's in the box. Now they give you this big plastic bag, because that's where you can put your modeling clay so it doesn't dry out. And then you've got this big set of directions in multiple languages. So here's the one that I am going to follow. Kind of gives you all the information, but... They also give you the little basic shapes guide to make each character. So you've got Can Man, you've got Professor Botman, Techie, Max the Super Dog, and then this is the robot basic shape. Oh, here's basic shapes right in front. And they tell you the color. Basically, I can do whatever I want, right? And then you have the box to look at too. But let's just check out a little wind up mechanism and see. Ooh, sorry about that, headphone users. Okay. So that is my starting point. Now let's just check out one color, because I'm going to change my tabletop now that we've looked at all this, and then I'll come back and we'll open up more. Okay. Let's get some scissors here. Not easy to open. I just want to see the consistency of what I'm working with here. Okay, come on, come on, get out of the bag. There you go. Ooh, nice and soft. I like that. Very cool. It almost has a foamy feel to it. So this would go around him. See? Red. Ooh, I'm almost getting started. And then I bet you, you know, of course, I would spend a little bit more time. But let me get this on here like this and kind of check it out. Look. So each time I put something on, I can walk them around. Very neat. All right, I'm going to change my top, come back, and get started. All right, so here we go now. Let me get this off of here. I want to start fresh. That was just kind of like a, let's check it out, see what it's like kind of test. And then, so I brought in some scissors, a little cutting tool, something to roll it out with so I can get flat pieces. So let's see. I'm just going to kind of start the way they start, and then, I don't know, make my own creature. That's what I'm going to do, my own walking creature. All right, and this kind of gives us an idea how it sticks, how to work with it, you know. Because, you know, I'm still practicing my molding skills. I think I have a nice amount for the body here. You know, I went looking for my tool again, my sharper tool, and I couldn't find it. That thing is elusive. Okay, that looks like a nice amount. That's why I wanted scissors here. Let's just fold this over, and that's where his head's going to go anyway, so there, I have a nice smooth body now. 
Okay. So let's make a head for him. I think I'm going to make it cone shaped. Something says make a cone head. Like that. See, I kind of want to make something like that. I don't know if I want it that tall, but that's the way it's ending up. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Well, let's see what's forward. Okay, so let's just see. Let's see. So it sticks really nice together. Let's give him, say, a purple collar piece. I want to close off the collar area. The stuff is appears to be really easy to work with. So let's just roll out a piece. I want to even this out. Okay, look at that. I think that'll make it around. Maybe a little bit straighter. I feel like I'm rushing, but I'm not really trying to rush. I'm in no hurry. Okay, here we go. Okay, perfect. There's his collar. Let's test him. Okay. How's he looking? Now I need some white. I think I want to put a little puff on the top. Some kind of white puff. And then let's get some eyes. Okay, so my white has dried up. Looks like there might have been a little bit of air in there. Maybe I can salvage a little bit of it. Yeah, I should be able to salvage it. I wonder if there's a how to salvage your clay if it dries up section. Okay, I just want to get nice white eyeballs, but not that big. So I'm going to cut these in half now. Okay, look at that. Then I'll need some black. That's almost gray. This one looks a little bit more black. Okay, so a little piece of that. This one has dried up too. Bummer. Wow, this one feels better. I gotta see if I can salvage that. I'll have to read that in a little bit. Okay, so eyes. Here we go. Make sure I get them going the right way again. So this is his front. Okay, here we go. I have no name for my creature, my friend, my new buddy. Okay, he's starting to take shape. Look at him. I think I want to get some yellow in here. Since my white's a little iffy, I'm going to make a yellow poof at the top. Here we go. Like a yellow ball. Let's get a hole in that. I'm going to take the back of this here. This will be like the top of his cone. A little bit bigger. There we go. There, nice poofy yellow ball. Okay, I think he needs a nose. Don't you think he needs a nose? Let's see, let's try, I don't want pink. Lots of colors here. Let's try, oh, there's another pack of red. Let's think, well, these all seem a little bit, well, this one seems okay, no. Looks like I have another dried up pack. 
Let me see if there's something here. If you're. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything about. Uh, well, I'll have to check this out later. I'll check that out later. Maybe I'll take a break. Let's get this green. This green looks nice and soft. I wonder if you can add some water to it and then maybe heat it up. It'll soften again. Let's give him a nice green nose, huh? A little bit smaller. Ooh, careful now. When the colors touch, they stick together. I want a little smaller than that. Okay, and I'll tell you what, let's attach his mouth to his nose. So it's kind of like this, I'll show you. So he kind of has like a beaker style nose and mouth. Like that. Look at him. I think he needs ears. We'll give him some nice ears so he can hear everything. All right. I like him a little pointy. Since his nose is pointy, we'll give him some pointy listening devices. And we'll turn him like this. He's got turned down ears. Look at him. Now tell me he's not adorable. So he's got a mouth. And then let me put some more purple on his outfit. Let's give him a straight down, like, purple tie. How's that? I don't even know how to make a tie. How about a purple centerpiece? There, yeah, it kind of looks like a scarf now. Look at that. Let's let him walk a little. Whoa, he's top heavy. Look at him. All right, I want to run a test with my white to see if I can reconstitute that. And then I will, uh, well, I'll tell you what I did. And then I'll, uh, when I come back, I'll tell you that. I'll be right back. Okay, so a little time in the microwave has softened it up. So it's usable not like its original form but you can soften the material up see that not as stretchy but it still seems like you can make something with it now so i'll leave that off to the side if i need that later and what do you think about my little character there maybe some well, i got some more green i got purple yeah let me let me do this let me put some red back on him right down his belly button like their buttons okay I would say this guy is set to nice big poofy buttons. Look at that. Three. How's that? Give him a little dimension there. The ever-growing belly button. There you go, buddy. All right, so there is character one. I don't think I'm going to do four for you now, but let me just go something completely off the wall here. That's, you know, that's not off the wall enough. Okay, so there's front. Let's roll out. Let's make him purple. A purple base. Let me see. Which one do I want? I've got a lot of red here. Blue. Ooh, green. Yeah, let's do some green. I like this vibrant green. There's so many colors to pick from. So let's roll this out. I'll just make two for you today. How's that? Hate to bore you with my silly creations. I know what you're going to say. Oh, you should have done all four. I know. I probably will see. Okay, let's cut this. Fit around my base a little bit better. Okay. A 
Ooh, look at that. Almost perfect. Stretch it. Okay, I keep forgetting which way is front. That's the front. Okay, I'll keep that towards me. And then let's give him a yellow head. How's that? A nice round, big round yellow head. I'm just rolling it in my hands so I can stick it right on top. Like that. It sticks real nice. So once it's once it's together, it's together. And then let's see. Let's give him a let's give him a crazy hairdo. So I'm gonna take this like this, okay? And I'm just gonna flatten it out with my fingers. And I'm just gonna go around and chop it. Like that. Okay. I'm just gonna stick it back here like this. There, how's that? Pretty wild, huh? Let's see if he walks okay. Yes, he's walking good. Let me get some of this black. We'll give him some black and red eyes with some yellow. How's that? How about we give him one eye? Here. I'll give him one eye with black. Let me flatten this out a little bit more. Red and yellow. He's my one eye cyclops looking creature. One big eye. Here's where I got it here. Sorry. And then some red in the center of that. And then a little bit of yellow in the center of that. There. There's his one eye studying you now. He's looking at you. And then, a mouth. How about a purple mouth? And not just an ordinary purple mouth. A big, no, too big, smiling, happy mouth. Happy enough. There he is. There he is. Okay. Now let's get something around his neck. I want to put. It's going to put yellow. I think I'm going to do red. That's a funny looking mouth. Let's roll this out. Well, as you can see, I mean, the kid is just about. Do whatever you want to do. Follow the instructions. Don't follow the instructions. Make your own creations. Because he sure is freaky looking. Doo, 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 doo. There, it's like a scarf back there. See? I think I need to cut an opening on his mouth. Let me take my little fake knife here and give him a little happy smile. That's better. There. He looks happy now. And then, what about a nose? What do you think for a nose? Does he look crazy? Yeah, green nose. How about just a small little button nose? There. Okay. The one-eyed cyborg crazy creature. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go one more here. But this one, here, let's do this. Let's roll this out. As big as it'll go. Okay. And let's take purple. 
and roll that out. We're going off the wall now. Totally off the wall. If not, my first two are crazy. Ooh, he just moved. Then we're going to make this one crazy. Okay. Then let's take that like that. We're now mixing. And then we'll twist. Okay. Then we'll roll this out now. Twisted. I want it really thin. Ooh, I don't want it to break. Don't break. Okay, so this is going to be his body. Nice, colorful. Give it a little more room here. Body. So I'm going to start here. It'll be a little thicker than the other ones, but that's okay. This is what I want. Let's see, what's your front? Okay. I'm going to call him Mr. Cream Puff. How's that? That's great. Mr. Cream Puff, man. Now i got to give him eyes. I'm going to give him normal eyes. If you're quick, it looks like you can pull it apart, but it will leave marks. Okay. He needs a mouth. I think he looks pretty cute. Let's see. Yeah, well, I got green. I'll give him green mouth. Except this guy, I'm going to give a circular mouth. Let's do that. Like he's going, oh. Okay. I'll make it a little bit smaller than this. There you see. Oh, what's going on? And then for a nose. Let's just give him, how about a purple nose, a nice big one, but I want to give him nostrils, so I'll take my tweezers and shape it like that. There, that's a nose. There, look at him. Ooh. He does need something on the top of his head. And I think I want to do that in green. I think. Let's see. Since everything is circles. What about that? Yeah. He's like the. There, look at that guy. Go walk over to your friends. All right, I'm going to straighten up a little bit, come back, and I'm going to make my fourth one. And then, we'll, and then you can all decide which one you like the best. I'll be back. Okay, so he goes that way, and I decided I'm going to do him in black. Now, I haven't spent much time with my colors that to reconstitute. I thought I would just focus on the colors I have, so... Let's do something, let's do something completely different. At this point, I have no idea what that is. Let's put some red in here. He's going to be red and black. Let me roll this out. Okay. Flatten it. So not like the twisty that I did. And then let's 
make it connect. There's probably an easier way to do this. when you do mix two colors like that let's see so if some of yours hardens up then just grab colors and mix them to get the other colors okay so it changes it to just a darker more burgundy looking red have two colors on him now. Okay. So you're going this way. Let's give you a nice purple head. Everything else is round, so let's just try to give him I want to save that. I want to use that. A square head. Well, I figured I thought I was going to do two, but now I'm here. I'm doing four. So now it gives you more to choose from. Hmm. Not getting a good press on that. Maybe it's starting to set up just out here. What I'm going to have to do is I'll have to come back and check these in a little bit. Okay, then let's give him... Maybe I'll check them in three hours and we'll see what they look like. So what I'll do is I'll finish this guy up, clean up, play with them a little bit, look at them, and then we'll come back one more time. Double check. Okay. Let's give him some eyes. I think he needs yellow. It's got a little pinkish from my finger. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I don't want to use that. Let's give him a, a yellow mouth. How about just a circle for a mouth? Nice big mouth. Let's give him some inside depth to that. There, look at that. Ooh. And then he needs a couple little spiky things on his head. Do, 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 do. Would you have fun doing a set like this? I'm guessing most of you would have fun doing this. A couple more. There we go. How's that spiky head? He needs something in his eyeballs, though. They're looking a little funny like that. And then some eyebrows over the top like this. There, look at him now. Ooh. How about some ears? Not very not all my characters have ears, so I'm gonna give him some nice big green ears. Alright. 
stuck right on there. Look at him. Woo! He looks crazy. And then, let's see how he walks. Don't touch. If they touch, they will stick. I think he needs something in his stomach, don't you? How about just a weird shape? Like a belt. Like this. There. Let's give him some arms. Let's use this for some arms. We'll just twist it. And then cut it, rip it, and give him a couple arms going up like he's grabbing something. Mr. Muscles. There. There, he's touching his ears. Then that'll stay like that. All right. Okay, clean up, come back, and we'll check him out, play with him a little bit, and then, uh, you know. We'll decide which one you like the best. All right, so what do you think? Which one do you like the best? I'm leaning towards this guy right here. I don't know, something about him just says he's cool. Probably this one, this one, and this one's just way out there. And maybe that one lasts. I'm not sure I like my one eye. So let me wind them all up, see if we can get them all going here. Coming from different ways, hopefully none touch. Don't touch, don't touch. If you touch, you'll stick. Tried to get them all going at one time. It worked. You just gotta be quick. Ah, don't touch. Get out of the way. I'm guessing they're gonna harden up pretty good, so we'll have to check. I'll tell you what I'll do. Now that you now that you've looked at them and judged them as to which is your favorite and least favorite, I will give it a couple hours and we'll just see what they're like. How's that? My robo modeling kit. I will be back after they set up a little bit. And we'll take a look at them one more time. Because I think, like now, I can still somewhat mold the pieces. They're still movable. But they're holding together pretty good. Very neat little set. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so I was just tossing my little characters around to see if anything would fall off. And I would say they held together pretty good. Now, if I purposely try to rip something off, they will been about uh, they will come apart like if I pull this it'll rip out so it's only been say about what I want to say maybe two hours so the longer you let them sit I'm gonna see if I can get all these three wound up and then I'll just have to wind up the last one here we go the better And now they won't stick together or anything like that. And they are actual toys now. I got them. See, look. Bends right back. This guy's still holding, holding his ears. Let me see if I can get them walking towards us now. There, how's that? I would say overall a pretty fun little set. Now some of my compound was dry and I was able to rework it a little, but it was still enough for me to have fun and play with and make all my four characters. 
And thanks for watching. Remember now, I did the dinosaur set from the same company. And we have, I have one more kit to do from them. These are really cool. So let me know in the comments again, like I asked you, which was your favorite? Come on, guys. Everybody right here. Stay in line. Stay in line. There you go. And thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Hope you, hope you liked the video. There you go. We're done. We got a crash. Let's see if he falls. He's pushing him. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.